In this video, I want to reintroduce you to limits. Now, limits are things that you will have met uh, if you have covered differentiation from first principles, um, which is something you usually learn in the first year of A-level maths. Okay? So, uh, this notation of taking the limit as x tends to zero in this case uh, shouldn't be unusual to you, although you might have kind of like... Um, so I'm not kind of quite sure about the ins and outs of how it really works. Now, with this function, this function looks a lot more complicated than the ones you deal with at differentiation from first principles in A-level maths. Um, and the reason why uh, we're looking at this function in particular is because the problem, there is a problem with taking the limit as x tends to zero, just from kind of an algebra, like looking at it, an algebraic problem, because um, in a lot of cases you learn initially uh, the way to take a limit is just to substitute x as zero in, which is kind of like a brute force method. It's not, it's not really a good thing to do. Um, but if you do substitute x as zero into the top and bottom of this fraction, we're going to get zero take away zero, so zero on the top and 0 times 0, so 0 on the bottom. So you get 0 over 0. So um, if both of your numerator and denominator um, evaluate at 0, um, there is a problem. Okay. So how can we find the limit of this function? Now, there is a reason as to why I've kept Maclaurin series up here and using the Maclaurin expansions is because we can utilize those in order to solve this problem, find this limit. So, the limit as x tends to zero. So, in the numerator, we've got x take away sine x. Now, sine x is x take away x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5 over 5 factorial, etc. Okay, And in the denominator, we're going to have x squared times by e to the x, which is 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus etc. And then we're taking away 1. So let's simplify the numerator den denominator. So we've got x take away x, so that's just going to be 0. Then we've got take away minus, so plus... Um, 1 over 3 factorial x cubed. So I'm just going to write it as x cubed over 3 factorial for the moment. And then take away x to the 5 over 5 factorial. And then take away all the other terms, so plus, etc. In the denominator, we've got x squared. Well, the, we, first of all, we've got the 1 take away 1. That's gone. x squared times x is x cubed. X squared times x squared over 2 factorial is x to the 4 over 2 factorial. And then x squared times all the other terms. So this is what I'm left with. Okay. Now, I can simplify this fraction by dividing top and bottom by uh, x cubed. Okay. So I can do that. And what's going to happen is I'm going to get 1 over 3 factorial in the numerator, take away x squared over 5 factorial, plus all the other terms. And in the denominator, we've got 1 plus x over 2 factorial, plus etc. Now, let's just simplify the 1 over 3 factorial. That's 1 over 6. OK? Now, if x tends to 0, now if I think about substituting the x's for zeros. That term and all the, previous, all the next terms will be 0. That term and all the next terms will be 0. So everything will cancel apart from the 1 sixth over 1. Okay, so I'd be left with just this, which is 1 sixth. And so the limit of this function as x tends to 0 is actually 1 sixth. And we can show that using the Maclaurin series expansions.